Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to check fresh release from Brassin series from Edward. As you can see that's a 148 scale kit which copies BF120. It's written here but obviously that's a misspelling because it's a BF109 G6 cockpit for recent Tamiya kit in the same scale. So as you remember original plastic was quite detailed but some models still would like to see more in their model and this set might help them get a better appearance, more realism in their uh, small aircraft. Of course that's a resin molded set so we will check it in a second but let me remind you that we are gathering money for the new camera and you can help us by pressing the donate button on our website it is easy and safe because it's done via PayPal and of course you decide the amount we will get from you so you can even send some small amounts. They will still be helpful in order to get a new better video quality uh, on our video reviews. As for the packaging of this kit, as you can see that's a typical black box with this small image of the uh, 3D set let's say. And now we are going to open it. As you can see all parts are fixed between two layers of foam. I recommend to store it because it might be handy for some weathering purposes or maybe for some transport purposes so do not throw it away. It is quite useful material. Then here we have all necessary parts for assembly of this um, cockpit set. We are going to start with this plastic bag. I don't know why this particular one but I mean it was the first one to get in my hand so we will check it in a second. So here we have first resin part that's a lower segment of the pilot seat as you can see it is molded as a one piece part so you will have just to install it into the place. Here we have these two parts which will be placed between pilot legs. Then we also have here some transparent elements which is quite surprising I would say and then another element is this leg rest which will be placed on the cockpit floor. Molding quality seems to be nice and of course you have to do all traditional procedures which are required for resin parts but I think it won't be that difficult and those who are ready to build this kit I mean they won't be surprised by such um, process let's say. Next we have another set of parts, here we have even smaller parts so be ready to work with tweezers because I think otherwise it will be tricky to pick them up and install into the right slot. So here you can see the control stick which looks quite nice, I mean look at the size of it, it's really tiny. Then here we have wall for the frontal section of this cockpit those parts I'm not sure whether we, where they will be used and then we have two types of the dashboard so here is the first one with pre-molded dials and then we have the plain version I guess it will be used for the PE parts which we'll see further in this video review so just give me a second I'll show them in a moment then we have last plastic bag with resin pieces here we have the biggest parts I would say and as you can guess here we have cockpit walls and cockpit floor which are also molded as resin parts, as one piece resin parts. So here you can see cockpit floor, note that there is some wiring present and of course you will have to separate all those resin bits but otherwise I think it will be easy. Here we have cockpit walls which are really detailed. I mean original plastic can't even rival this detailing so be ready to paint all those tiny wires but I think it will be impressive once you get it in color and maybe add some weathering. And last but not the least is a small plastic bag with PE threads and also some transparent films as far as you can see so just give me a second. We have one pre-painted and one unpainted PE thread. Here is the first one. I guess it's not difficult to guess which type is it. And then we have another one here with dashboard parts, seat belts, I mean everything is here. And another bonus is a special transparent film which will be used for the target side. So it will be even more, um, let's say, realistic looking. Then we have assembly manual which is typical for Brassin products so I think if you assembled Brassin sets before it won't be that mm, surprising for you. 
Inside we have this typical Edward instructions, as you can see we start with cockpit, then we continue with cockpit walls. Note that you have to modify original plastic parts, you have to sand these walls because otherwise set won't fit inside. Here you see uh, that you also have to cut some parts on the rear section. And then we have also some elements for the canopy installation, so be ready to work with those two. But otherwise, I mean, if you are eager to build Prosin set, I suppose you should be ready also to work with such you know, stuff to cut the plastic to you know, prepare resin for installation. So I think it won't be difficult for you. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about the set here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye!